Hello crafty friend, it's Justine. I hope you're doing it really well. Today I'm going to be doing my usual card kit video. Now, I already posted the unboxing, so if you're interested in seeing what is in the sweet and cool card kit of the month from July from Spellbinders, please check out that video. And today I'm going to be showing you some cards. Now, I said some because typically I do eight with the new style of card kit, but I kind of felt inspired a little bit more than usual with this card kit. Um, I think the things just spoke to me, and that does happen when I am looking at different card kits. Sometimes they really stand out to me, and this one really was one of those. So it might be more than eight. It might be 10. I think I have 10 in my stack, but I'm not going to... Uh, promise you 10. <laughs> it might be 9. I think it's 10. We're going to just say 10 until the end of the video. Anyway, <clears throat> I just was very inspired by the colors of this kit and I'm excited to use these embellishments because they're just gorgeous over here. But this first one, I was very inspired by all of the fish and the words splish splash and that really just kind of took off my imagination for this card. So I am going to first start off with a kind of neutral or masculine-ish fishing card and have it be kind of a fun one. And I'm always looking for some neutral or less girly looking cards just because I need those more often than the sparkly girly ones. Even though I love the sparkle and the girly look, but you know, <laughs> that's just, that's just me. But anyway, I just loved this little fishing rod. It reminds me of my dad and my husband. So I just figured let's just start off with this card. And the Splish Splash font is just perfect. I just really like this font. So I went ahead and used up almost all of the sticker, those puffy sticker words that came in the kit. It just, like I said, it spoke to me. Anyway, this card kit is full of all sorts of goodies that are summerish related cards. And if you've checked out this month's club items from Spellbinders, you'll know that everything is Christmas except the card kit. So if you are looking for inspiration and crafty videos that are not Christmas related, this set might be for you. But I have really enjoyed the Christmas materials so far. I have all of the club items and the new releases that they're going to put out. Um, I have not received yet when I'm filming this video, so I'm not sure if I will have a video for the new clubs, but we will see. <laughs> Time will tell. I'm hoping to kind of get my ducks in a row. If you're following on my channel, you know that um, at the end of, uh, end of June, which is when I filmed the video for um, the card kits, I, I have jury duty. So <laughs> perfect timing, right? No, I am looking forward to it and I, I don't know what it will all entail. I've never had jury duty before, so we shall see. But I am really interested in the process of it all. I'm really excited to kind of be part of that. I am interested in the law, and so that's just really interesting. I'm not really sure what it will all entail. I am positive that I'm not going to be able to talk about any of the case I won't be able to speak about the cases, I'm sure, but um, I will just tell you how, how it went. I won't give you details, but I'm definitely interested to see kind of the justice system in action here in Minnesota. Things have been rocky at best, just to say, <laughs> to put it nicely, uh, with different cases that have gone on recently. I kind of do follow true crime a little bit and um if you if you have followed true crime you know about the Lori Vallow the Lori Daybell Vallow case I followed pretty closely and I am 
thrilled that there is some justice for it. JJ and Tylee. So if you know about it, you know. If you don't know about it and you're not interested in that stuff, just pretend that I'm talking about crafts for a second here. But oh my goodness, I'm glad that that trial is over and that there's some justice for those sweet babies. So anyway, back to my card making. <laughs> I don't even know. Are people even interested in true crime? I, I know I am. Um, but I'm also very interested in card making so anyway my point is it should be an interesting end of June so when this video goes up uh, my jury duty should be over hopefully <laughs> um, we'll see but I'm definitely looking forward to it and I definitely like believe in a right to a fair trial and all the goodness of the Constitution so <sighs> exciting <laughs> but also a little scary because I don't know what I'm getting myself into well, rather what the government has put me into. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, on this card, I wanted to go for some kind of a summery fun kind of card. And I was really inspired by all these fun die cuts. And I actually want to keep that sunscreen in there. So I pushed it kind of forward. Anyway, I just scattered them around and I have extras, which means perhaps a sister card in the future. Anyway, I have these pieces. Now I'm just going to take my paper cutter and do I even need my yeah I'll use my paper cutter and trim off the extras that I have here just going off the edge to me this is kind of fun to build up a background when I have cutesy little die cuts like this and we're just gonna make a scene we're just gonna make a fun background with all of these little pieces. I love that this card kit is called Sweet and Cool. I feel like that is exactly how I want my whole summer to be, is sweet and cool. So <laughs> let's hope for that for everybody. But <laughs> only time will tell. Now in the card kit, the card kit does come with double-sided adhesive tape. For the quickness of this video, I am going to be using a tape runner just because I'm hoping to just chat away through this video and not have it be too terribly long. But my feedback that I've been given by you lovely subscribers has been you don't mind the chat. So you're getting the chat today. This video might be... 45 minutes long. It might be an hour. I don't know. I guess it's just going to have to depend on um, my speed of crafting and my chat. Oh, that is so cute. So I layered the stickers, the Fun in the Sun stickers. They're from the same little package as the Splish Splash words. And just layered that on some cardstock. I think I'm going to add sequins to these. Now, the sequins that came in this card kit, remember, are not sequins with holes. They are more of a disc. So they definitely are shaped like a plate, I would say. So they have that raised side and then the little bevels around the edge to get that light catching on there. And then there are, there is small and large sequins so they're super cute oh that is adorable fun in the sun it needs two more <laughs> there's five let's do six seven just because an odd number is good and they definitely gave us a lot of sequins so let's just go for it <laughs> there's that train in the background I don't know if the microphone's gonna pick it up but mm. There we have it, fun in the sun. I definitely getting of summer, just because typically I work either at home here in my craft room or at work. My classroom is in a basement, so I don't see a lot of sun typically in the winter, especially living in Minnesota. It's just not a thing. So <laughs> it sounds so sad. It's really not that bad, but anyway, <laughs> I got burned pretty bad, pretty badly this 
early summer because I wasn't even thinking and I forgot sunscreen so you know it's my own fault but now that everything is healed I think it's time to get some sun again and we'll see I just loved this pattern paper with the umbrellas I think it looks so cute with the hello sunshine stickers and the umbrellas I just think that's adorable oh by the way I did not mention at the beginning of the video I am using strictly only things from the card kit no extra cardstock no extra bling nothing nothing at all so that's that I mean I'm using my tools but basically you could make what I am making if you had the kit and a pair of scissors which everyone has scissors at their house and if you don't run to the Dollar Tree and get some scissors or better yet grab some really good scissors from Spellbinders now this little bundle here is being held together by the two chipboard stickers that have a light stick on them so I'm just gonna place this whole bundle on my card front like so just gonna make sure everything's straight ish there we go and how adorable is that hat it's got gold foiling on it stinking cute if you ask me okay speaking of stinking cute did you see the crab come on that's so cute i gotta grab some foam here because oh, just blow out eardrums anyway i'm gonna grab some foam because we need to pop up this little crab and yes i did use three foam squares from this foam pack already because i was desperate and it was on my desk so just ignore that now you might be wondering what's up with the fuzz on the back of the crab well when i plan out card kits like this one i like to have pieces and move them around and the crab was a chipboard embellishment so it was sticky on the back and when I move things around I don't want it to stick permanently so therefore <laughs> I used my little mouse pillow and got rid of some of the stick if you don't know what the mouse pillow is um, <laughs> I'm sorry it's the anti-static pouch that to me looks like a mouse pillow so That was card number three, so let's just keep her moving and go to card number four. This one is all about ice cream and summer loveliness. So <laughs> we'll just get this gorgeous pattern paper down. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, I just love it. By the way, I did put most of the card bases on two cards already, just so you know. Um, just helps with the, the timing of filming and such okay I don't know the placement for all my little bits and bobs yet see this is what I'm talking about about the lightly stick on the chipboard pieces so please don't rip the paper and of course it rips well we're gonna have to cover that with something guess I should have used the mouse pillow on that one <laughs> anyway to get my little yellow piece here to stretch and to look like uh, part of uh, this yellow piece is going to be kind of pretending that it's longer than it is so I sliced it down the middle at an angle so I would know what sides are the edges and this is going to go kind of behind my main piece and it will act like a banner and I'm actually going to use the grid on the pattern paper here to put my yellow paper on very straight, like so. Then I'll put the other side on, and we'll get that green panel on and add all my goodies. Okay, that line is right there, and I will just follow it over. I think I followed it correctly. Yes, that looks about right. And when I put this green panel on, you're not even gonna know that that yellow piece was chopped in half. But it's just a way that I like to stretch my pattern paper 
and just make it go even farther because there's only one piece of each pattern paper now, which is fine, I understand, but you gotta make it stretch because it's so pretty. <laughs> Okay, speaking of pretty, these ice cream cones or ice cream treats, they're kind of like a bundle. They're gorgeous. And I think I was going to use one inside the card because I think one on the bottom is enough. Or should I add another on the top? Oh, that's just adorable. I got to do one on the top, one on the bottom. Forget the inside. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, do you like to decorate the inside of your cards or do you like to keep them blank? I typically leave mine blank unless I have a whole bunch of extra stuff left over from a card kit. I will add a sentiment stamp in the inside of a card if it's from me to someone directly, such as like Mother's Day, I stamped out a sentiment in the inside because it was going to my own mother, so I knew what I wanted it to say. Um, I won't do that all the time, but if there's just the right sentiment, I will put it in the inside, but I know some people use pattern papers and die cut shapes and really just kind of whoop it up in the inside of the card, and sometimes I do that. Not often, though, but again, I want to know what you do, so tell me in the comments. That sounded a bit dramatic, like, tell me in the comments, but just let me know. <laughs> Casual. Anyway, this umbrella is so adorable. It's like teeny tiny, and it's going to shade my rainbow just a little and cover up the spot that I ripped because I was a little bit aggressive with my die cut piece. I love that the ice cream cone is a rainbow. It is so cute. Rainbows are so in. My last year's kindergarten class were just obsessed with rainbows. Like anytime they were coloring anything, they're like, can we color it rainbow? <laughs> it's like, well, some things you can color rainbow, but I mean, like a glass of water should be clear with blue, but you know, you do you, honey bun. Okay, I am loving these enamel dots. I'm just going to say it. I really like the way that they're sticking on. I hadn't used these before from Spellbinders until this card kit, and I, I like them. Jury's in. <laughs> from the looks of it, I again pulled those puffy stickers because they're so cute, <laughs> and I used the words, hey sunshine. So let's just get some pattern paper down. I hate to cover up that floral area, but such as life I need it for a border it's gonna be fine it'll be <laughs> it'll work I know people have asked me on Instagram actually so I'm gonna reach out to me there um, updates on the craft room I don't have any I know I know I know my husband and I went on vacation I didn't really want to talk about it on YouTube until it was over but yeah, we went on vacation. It was fabulous. We had time away, and so we haven't worked on the room. <laughs> so that's fine, but I'm definitely ready to have that crafting space back in use for crafting because <laughs> it's hot here in Minnesota. Um, I know that sounds really like ridiculous, but that's just how it is. And right now I'm upstairs. It's warmer. And I'm just not really used to it. Plus, for cooking dinner, if I want to, like, kind of keep an eye on the kitchen and also kind of craft a little, I can't really do that from upstairs from, like, our house it just wouldn't be safe to, like, have the stove on and not be close by. So <laughs> it's just kind of hindered my crafting a little. So I'm really looking forward to having that craft space back. I don't know when it's going to be. I told myself when we started the project to not even be concerned about it until like Thanksgiving was kind of what I was thinking. My husband looked at me like I was crazy when I said like Thanksgiving, but um, I think he expected it to be moving along a little quicker, but that's okay. He's trying his best and we're doing what we can when we can 
and it just it's gonna work out I know it will but I'm just getting a little anxious to get back into my space and to kind of just enjoy my usual crafting area again but I am very thankful for the space that I do have because I know some people are crafting at a kitchen table and having to take it all down all the time or um, crafting on a card table <laughs> there's not room anywhere else I totally hear that understand it and feel sorry because that sounds awful but I hear ya I'm gonna stick this shell inside since there's not room for it yay I decorated the inside <laughs> okay I feel like I'm talking really fast but I think it just might be a mental thing since I have so many cards <laughs> I'm not used to doing 10 cards for a video. I used to do that all the time, but such is life. Oh, I just love these little fish. They're just so stinking cute. Anyway, this Hey Sunshine it was fun to put down. It definitely took a little patience because every letter is by itself except the SU and SH. I kind of like the puffy stickers a little bit more when they're the cursive letters because they're a little easier to line up straight on your card going from the sticker page to your card but I mean that's really pretty too so I don't know there's really nothing to complain about just my opinions you know there's just a couple spaces here that I want to fill in with some of the small sequins so I will just quickly pop those on. Now this next one is kind of a scene card. I figured that I should use these little beach houses because they're so cute. I feel like everything is cute but this card kit really is just a sweet card kit so you know, cute is appropriate, but I don't know. I say cute a lot. I don't know. Maybe it's just a hazard of my profession. Card making and being a kindergarten teacher. Everything is cute. Kindergartners are so cute. I just, <laughs> I love them. And find joy every day. What is, that is such a good message. I just enjoy that quite a bit. Now I'm going to use this sun pattern paper down here as my sand. We're making a scene and my little beach houses are going to kind of nest here. I want the staircases to go on the sand because I'm feeling like that's important and I don't even know if I'm going to use that umbrella but maybe, maybe. I think I'm going to use this umbrella on a different card and just have the sun be up there. And that's just gonna have to be fine. If you live by the beach, let me know. I am landlocked here in Minnesota, but we do have the 10,000 lakes here, which is always fun. The trip that my husband and I just went on was on one of the bigger lakes up north. I mean, I say up north, but I live up north. <laughs> but anyway, it was just very enjoyable to spend time on the water and wake up and go fishing and just enjoy some family time. And one of my very best friends was also up north at the same time with her family at the same lake. No, we did not plan it, but I thought that that was really funny. We were having lunch this spring and she's like, oh, do you have any summer plans? And I was like, well, we're going to go up to Lake blah, blah, blah and <laughs> spend time with family. And she's like, what? We are too. When are you going? Same week. So, I mean, her and I are just on the same page about <laughs> a lot of stuff and I just adore her and now she is a mama and her sweet baby is so cute so anyway I just thought that that was just super funny and 
it was lovely to see her up north anyway oh, these enamel dots are just so perfect look at that I just love this oh I want to send this to someone like right now because it to me I look at it and I I see somebody in my how it is anyway back to the puffy stickers and oh boy uh, past Justine thought it would be a good idea to put these letters on camera okay this should be interesting <laughs> well if I can do it so can you so here goes nothing here's that full piece of the sunny paper that I used on the last card for the sand it's gonna be the background we're doing a switcheroo because now the foreground on this card is the blue paper from the last card. Wouldn't you know, there's a switch. All right. And this one, I thought of a sweet little kid sitting on a beach with their toys and their cute bucket hat and... <laughs> <laughs> they just threw it off now they're swimming in the water and I just thought that this little life preserver and the beach life would be a perfect little top part to this card and all these starfish are just gorgeous with the foiling on them I just love that okay I'm not really gonna line those up I'm actually gonna twist it so it's not lined up just for interest and then <clears throat> I'm going to put my life preserver down like so. And then I'm going to pop up the words beach life because that seems like a good plan in my eye. Those of you who watch like every single moment of my videos, thank you. <laughs> it really does help my channel. But also, would you like the chatty videos where I share things from my life or do you just want to hear about cards so I want to know in the comments from people who are watching at this point in the video 29 minutes in what do you want to know about <laughs> in the fall when I start teaching again do you want to hear the funny kindergarten stories because there are some <laughs> there's a lot actually they are just hilarious or do you do you want to hear about the remodel like what what do you want to know about maybe it's true crime I don't know if I can really get into all of that on my channel just because it's can be a little not so family friendly and I would like to keep my channel family friendly but I don't know let me know what you'd be interested in hearing from me and maybe I can oblige you I'm not sure if I used that word correctly in that sentence, but we're just going to move on and pretend like I did. Okay, if you missed it, how I put that on was I peeled off half of it like this and pushed down and then used my tweezers to peel off the rest of the plastic. And I could have gone hello summer or summer hello. I went with hello or summer hello just because I figured, oh, that's going to overlap pause, <laughs> regroup. <laughs> anyway, I went with summer hello because I wanted it to be like a card to send to someone in the summer as a hello. Well, that just kind of failed. <clears throat> anyway, we have friends that moved down to Kansas and I feel like I need to send them a little hello card in the mail because their kiddos are getting old enough to kind of understand like, oh, you get mail and it can be happy mail. And their oldest is my goddaughter. So <laughs> I definitely want to send them a little something in the mail soon. But time will tell if I can get my act together. Speaking of the mail, I just sent out, I think it was 33, 33 cards in the Happy Mail, <laughs> with Happy Mail. So <laughs> that was really fun and quite a little project that I challenged myself to send out 
a card to everybody who is on the list that is part of my Random Acts of Kindness group on Spellbinders. So if you're not aware, I do run a Spellbinder Maker group on Facebook. It's called Spellbinder Maker Group. And if you're interested in a link to that, I do have that in my description of my video here. But Random Acts of Kindness program that's part of my group. And basically, you get to send happy mail to people and then you get it back. <laughs> So it's kind of like a pen pal thing and I think it's important to mail things like that and not just text or call people because I think it is so special to send something in the mail and unfortunately card making kind of is a dying craft if you will. <clears throat> I hope that my channel is a part of a bigger picture of many amazing crafters online but hopefully it inspires people to keep making cards because honestly this is so fun for me <laughs> and card making is not something that in general people out there appreciate or even think it's worth their time Instead of sending a birthday card, it's, hey, I'm going to wish it to you on your Facebook profile. And I just think it's a little impersonal. And I honestly don't even like to do the whole Facebook happy birthday things to many people because I don't think it's very personal. Um, I'm going to try to send out some more birthday cards to my family, but, you know, I don't I don't even like to say it on Facebook, like, Happy Mother's Day, Happy Father's Day. I adore my parents, but does it need to be put all over Facebook? I don't think so. But am I going to make them a gorgeous card? Uh-huh. I sure am. <laughs> and they're going to keep it and save it. And that is what you cannot get on a Facebook post or a text message. It's just different. I don't know. Does that make sense? Am I just, like... I don't know. I hope that's connecting with somebody. <laughs> anyway, this is a total scene card and I just, can I go to this card? <laughs> like, take me to the place where there's pink sky with mini marshmallows flying from the sky and I can sit under an umbrella with fringe and listen to music on the beach. And it, <laughs> the sign says it all. It's going to be a good day. And uh, here's my sunscreen because I'm going to burn. <laughs> oh, brother. I think I've been in my craft room by myself a little too long. <laughs> Maybe you can relate. If you are crafting with me right now, as in maybe this is on playing on a device and you're crafting right now, comment down below what you are crafting. So let me know. I know I'm asking you to comment a whole bunch, but I feel like that is kind of fun for me to read after I make a video like this and am able to connect with people. It's just kind of just enjoyable for me. So thank you. And thank you to everyone who has commented. This is my June was my one year anniversary of being on YouTube. <laughs> I didn't even realize it, but um, YouTube reminded me. <laughs> it said, this is your birthday. So it's not technically my birthday, but my channel's birthday. And this has been such a fun year. I've really grown a lot. I've loved working with Spellbinders as a company. They've been so amazing with me. And I've also really enjoyed working with Crafty Critta, Pink and Main, MFT, so thank you to everyone who has either commented, liked, subscribed, and interacted with me. I just find that to be so fun and it really is just enjoyable to get to know people. And then, you know, if you join my Facebook group, we can kind of chat on there, share ideas, and I just, I love it. So thank you so much. 
I don't remember what number of card this is. I've just been crafting away like a little worker bee here. So <laughs> if you know what number it is, good for you. I surely do not. <clears throat> this flamingo in the Jeep, when I saw <laughs> when I saw this flamingo in the Jeep, I knew right away that I had to use this on a card. So <laughs> here I am using the adorable flamingo in the Jeep. And I also loved this lighthouse. I almost said warehouse. I think I've been watching a little too much of The Office. <laughs> um, anyway, the lighthouse is so cute. And then we have a little beach house here. And then let's put this sign up here. And hopefully I can work around the letters because I do want it to still say it's going to be a good day. Maybe lift it up just a little bit. It's okay, it's gonna be on the sun. It's like the sun's going down. And then we have the Jeep and the mini Jeep. This is kind of going to be like a little road. Now I am going to pop this whole thing up. So we're gonna use some, there's my scissors. We're gonna use some of the negative space of my foam squares here. Now, if you don't do this, I don't know why not, but you should use the negative space part of your of your foam squares and get the bang for your buck. I'll just chop them up and show you what it looks like after. All right, I've got my foam squares on, so I'll just put my little Jeeps down here like so okay that's just that is working out for me I'm just gonna put a little glue under this sign since it's popping up then I'll add on my two sentiments these are the puffy sentiments they are just very satisfying to squish so <laughs> I definitely enjoy them this is another fun card can we go to this card too right around in jeeps with the top down and go surfing okay i take that back i'm not interested in surfing <laughs> sharks <laughs> we'll leave it at that let's use the bright ones i'm just gonna pop them up on the sky they don't have to make sense it just has to be kind of cute i think they did a fabulous job coordinating the colors for this card kit everything is so bright so cheerful and it really coordinates together all right now this is my last card and i thought that <clears throat> all right this is my last card it looks like i already put the <laughs> tape on here I think I was feeling ambitious that I would do this for every card but this was the first card that I planned with this card kit because the don't worry be happy really stood out to me when I first saw the card kit and started playing around with all the pieces after I did my unboxing and I just thought that would be just a beautiful simple card and I think that I am going to hang on to this card and give it to my coworker when we start the new school year in August. So I think that that would be really fun. And I think she'd think that this is just really sweet. So she doesn't watch my videos as far as I know. So this will not spoil any surprise. Lastly, I have my little son here. And for whatever reason, the chipboard cutter, when it cut through, popped this out. So I have the release tape on the back. But I am just going to stick just a tiny bit of glue on there just because I don't want anything falling off. The sunshine is so sweet with its tiny little smile. Okay, I think I will add some enamel dots on this one and then we'll be all done with our card. Okay, well I consider this a win. I'm pretty sure I did 10 cards. Let's just clean off my desk here and I will set them all out. And so let's just clean this area up a little bit and I'll set them all out. 
Okay, let's look at all of the cards as we go here. Look for a favorite, like I said. I think I have my favorite, but I'm going to wait to tell you until the end. <laughs> like I said, I only use things from the card kit. No extra embellishments, no extra cardstock, just things from the card kit. The only thing I added was two card bases because I made 10 cards and not eight. Okay, which one's your favorite? Can you see them all? Maybe pause the screen, give it a good look. All right, write in the comments your favorite. I think that my favorite is a tie. It would have to be the Jeep card or the Splish Splash. I can't decide. But I hope you can decide and let me know in the comments your favorite. I hope you enjoyed my 10 cards one kit video. If you did, subscribe and hit the like button. Make sure to click the notification bell if you're interested in more videos like this from me in your future. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope you have a sweet, a cool and sweet summer just like this card kit. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.